Hey there, so uh, another bit of uh, post fire drums fallout here, and uh, what we've got is uh, so a lot of you guys have seen this before. It's um, pendulum versus cap. Uh, I do this, Boy Boy does this, Ronan does this, and uh, the last day of fire drums, Yuda and Alien John and I were sitting around trying to figure out how Ronan does a very specific kind of transition with it where he switches from pendulum versus cap here to pendulum versus cap over here. And he does some with a really funky transition in the middle that um, Alien John had it figured out, but I, for the life of me, could not understand it that day. And uh, after I came home, I actually started looking through running videos, trying to find instances where he'd done it, and go like frame by frame and try to figure out, okay, where's, where's the hand, where's the poi head kind of thing. And Last night, I was showing off to a friend a few of the shapes that we played around with one of Ronan's classes uh, at Fire Drums, namely shapes that are based around the idea that hand and poi head um, stay as close together as possible. So, you know, pendulum versus cap is a great example of it. Another great example of it would be pendulum versus extension, like this. And by far the weirdest thing he showed us that day was pendulum versus cat eye, which almost doesn't work, but it kind of does. Um, you have to do it by performing essentially an isolated pendulum with the hand that would normally be isolated, right? So as I'm playing with, with this last night and showing my friend Eric how to do it, it suddenly dawns on me that, oh wait, I can switch from that into pendulum versus cat, and then Click. Guess what that transition is? It is pendulum versus cap into pendulum versus cat eye into pendulum versus cap and back. Huh. And all of a sudden clouds part and angels sing. But after playing with it for a little while, I realized it also fits into this concept I played around with a couple weeks ago called uh, the Vesco Pisces, wherein um, you have a pair of circles that overlap each other at their midpoints, such that um, there's kind of an oval between them. Um, uh, it shows up a lot in ancient artwork, right? And in our case, we can make it appear by doing a pair of back-to-back -back triketras and switching into cat eyes in between uh, the two overlapping, or the total of four, I guess, overlapping pedals that they share, right? Namely that the unit circle uh, is half the diameter of the circles that we're using to get to triketras. So they very, very neatly stick us inside the right geometrical size. And as I'm playing with this pattern, I'm realizing that the path of the pointing hands is they're going from Pendulum to isolated pendulum to pendulum are following the exact same geometric rules, just in half circles rather than full circles. Right? We wind up with a circle right here that is one, two poi units across, perform our isolation, and poi winds up where the hand was before, and the hand winds up where the poi hand was before, and then we wind up with a circle that is one two point links across. Cool. So, what this means is that we can play around with that same Vesca Pisces pattern, except do it with hybrids. Um, so, for example, if, if we were to use the exact same kind of pattern that Ronan uses, namely that we have static versus triketra rather than uh, pendulum versus cap, for example, when we are going between the two pedals that are along the center line, we can switch that into isolation versus cat eye. And then as both the poi heads are going down, we can drop it into static spin versus triketra pointing the other direction. And again, when the poi heads are both going up, I can convert this into isolation versus cat eye. And when both poi heads are going up again, Get to static versus triketra. So static versus triketra. 
ISO versus cat eye, static versus trichedra, ISO versus cat eye, static versus trichedra, right? Uh, it's the exact same idea, just rendered in full circles without the pendulums. right now, but it also applies if we want the trichetra is pointing the other way, that is, the petals point to the inside rather than the outside, in which case our transition is our old friend, the horizontal cat eye versus isolation, right? And once again, we have another trichetra waiting for us on the other side, and we switch back into iso versus horizontal, static versus trichetra. ISO versus horizontal, static versus trichetra, ISO versus horizontal, so on and so forth, right? We can even mix up the, uh, the pieces from Ronan's patterns such that we can say go uh, pendulum versus cap to ISO versus cat eye to pendulum versus cap to ISO versus cat eye to pendulum versus cap. So and so forth, right? Or we could invert that. This would be a little bit harder, but um, static versus trichetra to pendulum versus cat eye to static versus trichetra. Right? All of which make use of that same disk of Isis geometry. And if I'm, if, if I'm not mistaken, all of them are also soft transitions because the, uh, the path of the hand winds up being curling into a small circle that both of those circles share. So, yeah, fun stuff. Um, hopefully I can find some more cool patterns like this. But either which way, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.